Good morning, dear students. I am Geeta Gandhadran, Associate Professor of English, Maharani's Arts College for Women, Mysore. Hope you have already watched my video on The Favorite Child, a short story from Jagani Harua's collection of stories, Next Door. It is a text prescribed for the first year optional English students of the University of Mysore. I hope the video has been useful to you. Today's video is on another story from the same collection and the story is titled A Fire in Winter. I insist that you read the story before you watch this video. Now, let's begin. A Fire in Winter is the story of Buri, a self-effacing, invisible caretaker of the Mahanta family. Buri's primary role in the household was that of Jeet's nanny. The story depicts her pivotal role in the family the intimate bond that she shared with Jeet and her tragic and untimely death. She joined their household when Jeet was an infant, a high need baby, through an office view of his father. Buri was the daughter of the Pune's dead sister. She was 21 and the family was at half long when she joined them. Jeet's sister, Lena, was a plump three-year-old girl. Within a short span of time, Buri took charge of the household and performed her duties wholeheartedly. Whether it was buying fish, looking after Jeet, taking care of Deyuta's needs, or keeping an eye on Tonkeshwar the cook, Buri did it all well. She never expressed or shared her feelings with anyone. The only time when we see her break down is when Jeet asks her about her father not visiting her after the initial years. But quickly, she regains composure. She was a strong and sturdy person. In Jeet's own words, Buri was the constant in a fluid world. Human nature is unfathomable and the character of Buri exemplifies this fact. Jeet's words describe the unpredictability of human nature. I quote, This woman who had raised me up, sorry, this woman who had raised me with a tenderness my own mother could not match, had beheaded her husband's lover with one stroke of her dao, had then neatly taken off her husband's head and next turned on herself pouring kerosene and setting it alight. Unquote. Buri had stayed with them for 30 years. They had encountered or experienced only the tender side of Buri, barring perhaps one occasion when Buri thrashed the man who peeped into the bathroom. Buri certainly was not a docile, dependent and helpless woman. The news of the death of Buri reaches Jeet at Manchester and he is grief stricken when his mother informs him. Unable to handle his emotions, he decides to visit his sister Lena and family at Glasgow. 
Lena, with her exuberant goodness, is a pillar of strength for Jeet. He adores his sister. Jeet notes that Lena and Chandan are a perfect match. Chandan was reserved, good-natured, humorous and intelligent. During their conversation, Lena confesses to Jeet that she used to be jealous of the intimate relationship that Jeet shared with Buri. Jeet reiterates his love for his sister. They discuss Buri and their childhood days, basking in the love and warmth of his sister. Chandan, Reena and the twins, Jeet slowly realizes that his relationship with Rebecca cannot work. They are not meant to be. Jeet returns to Manchester. However, he has made two life-changing resolutions before leaving his sister's place. Jeet informs Rebecca that their relationship cannot go on and he moves out of her house. I quote, I have to be brutal, to be kind, says Jeet. From the moment of separation from Rebecca, Jeet perhaps is waking up to the, re the realities of his life and its needs. He also feels a compelling need to visit his mother. A few days after his return to his childhood home, his mother hands him over a thick brown envelope from Buri with the words to my son Dhruvajit Mahanta. Buri had bequeathed her only worldly possession to Jeet, that is, a small piece of land gifted to her by Jeet's father at the time of her marriage. On reading Buri's will, Jeet once again feels the warm embrace of Buri, symbolizing a happy end to everything. The will of Buri comes as the last act of undying devotion Buri had for Jeet and the feel of Buri's embrace filled him with a kind of warmth that perhaps a fire in winter would bring you. Thank you.